Well, guys, I hoped I'd only need to make one video on the Queen, but it seems some cretins can't help themselves after the death of an elderly woman who happened to be called Queen, and I say this as no great fan of the royal family. Me, personally, I don't care for the royals the same way they don't care for me, but I do respect the history that comes not only with our historic monarchy, but also the fact she held that title for 70 years. She has been queen for longer than many of us have been alive and was respected throughout the world by rich and poor alike. The same cannot be said for some of the demented fuckpigs we're going to be talking about today. Yep, in what has to be the dumbest move known to mankind, many attention-seeking idiots decided it was a good idea to play race cards and all that shit just hours after she died. Take for instance Trevor Sinclair who decided all valid criticism against the monarchy should be ignored in favour of playing the race card and got royally shout on for it. This, I have to say, is bloody hilarious because it got so bad TalkSport replied to his tweet in full damage control mode. This, personally, I've never seen happen when celebrities stir up the hornet's nest on Twitter, so let's check that one out quickly. Here you see his tweet which reads, Racism was outlawed in the 60s and it's been allowed to thrive, so why should black and brown people mourn? You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. Yep, that was his first response to her dying, that was never gonna go damn well, but also spits in the face of comments he made just two years ago supporting old Queenie. But probably most damning of all is news reports relating to his own racist abuse of police officers after being caught drink driving in 2018. How ironic is it to hear a man convicted of racially aggravated crimes moaning about racism the absolute fucking idiot? Did he really not think people would pull up his own racism or something, or is he literally just that thick? Maybe Uslot can answer that in the comments. Now, as I said, TalkSport replied to his tweet, and my god, it's comedy gold, because he might actually get sacked for it when I'm reading this. Here it states, we have been trying to make contact with Trevor Sinclair following opinions expressed on his Twitter account. TalkSport does not support those views expressed and is investigating the matter. <laughs> Yep, that there is pretty bloody funny, it's gotta be said, because TalkSport literally replied to his tweet running damage control because he's ignoring their attempts to contact him or has no idea the shit had hit the fan. Well, he didn't when they commented that anyway. Now he probably does because his account has been deleted by him from what I can tell, so damage control is in full swing there. This, I have to say, just makes it even funnier, but it should be said that I don't agree with TalkSport sacking him over this. While I think the guy is a prick, I don't think he should be sacked for giving his opinion on this, even when he's playing the race card. He has a right to free speech, which includes saying stupid shit that ain't illegal, so being roasted by the public is where this should all end. Obviously, I get TalkSport are a business and want to keep their sponsors and viewers, but I support his right to free speech, despite him being a low-life race-baiting fuckpig as we've now seen. Of course, there are more idiots saying other dumb shit about all this and including stuff like it, but I've spent so long on Trevor Sinclair and the Queen at this point that I really can't stomach any more, so you know why I'm off. Where 